Hello everyone. Today we are going to do some exercises from Cambridge Primary Science Workbook Four, Unit One: Living Things, One Point One: Bones and Skeletons. Focus. Question number one. Use the words in the word box to label the skeleton. Let's read together. Rib cage, spine, leg bone. And bone, jaw, and scar. Okay, everybody, let's see the skeleton. The first line is pointing to the scar, S K U L S scar. The second line is pointing to the jaw, J A W jaw. The third line is pointing to the rib cage, R M B rib C A G E cage rib cage. The fourth line is pointing to the M bone, A R M M B O N E bone, M bone. The fifth line is pointing to the spine, S P I N E spine. And the final line is pointing to the Leg bone, L E G leg, B O N E bone, leg bone. Practice two A. What are the bones of the head called? Skull. B. What are the bones of the chest called? Rib cage. C. What is the row of bones in our back call? Spine. D. Name the bone that moves when we chew food. Jaw bone. Why do you think the bones of your skeleton are different shapes and size? Different bones have different jobs, so they need to be different size and shapes. Challenge three. Match the skeletons with the animals they come from. Write the letter of each skeleton next to the name of the animal it comes from. Animal skeleton. Bird. C. Rabbit. D. Frog. B. Crocodile. A. Four. Name the parts on the skeleton A. W is the skull. X is the rib cage. Y is the spine. C is the One point two. Why we need a skeleton? Focus. One. Match the bones of the skeleton with their functions. Draw lines from the names of the bones to their function. Different bones can have the same function or more than one function. Bone function. Skull goes to protection. Ribs goes to protection, and bone goes to movement. Spine goes to support and protection. Practice two: Read the text about skeletons and answer questions about what you have read. Our skeleton supports our body. It makes a strong frame inside the body. It gives our body shape and makes it firm. Our skeleton also protects organs inside the body. We grow and get bigger because our skeleton grows. We begin to grow at birth. Our bones get longer and thicker each year. When we are about eighteen to twenty years old, our bones stop growing. Sometimes. 
we fall or have accidents and break our bones. A broken bone is called a fracture. Doctors take special photos called x-ray to see if a bone is broken or not. The broken ends of the bone slowly grow back together again. A. Name three reasons why the skeleton is important. A skeleton is important because it makes a frame that supports our body, it gives our body shape and makes it firm, it protects organs inside the body. B. Explain what would happen to a baby if its skeleton did not grow. The baby will stay small and did not grow into a child. C. What is a fracture? A fracture is a broken bone. D. How can doctors find out if a bone is broken? Doctors can take special photos called X-ray. How do broken bones mend? The broken ends of the bone slowly grow back together. F. Why do you think some animals with skeletons are very big, but animals like worms are usually small? The skeletons can grow big to support a large animal. A worm cannot grow very big because it does not have a skeleton to support it. Challenge 3. In this exercise, you will find information from the bar chart. Nasreen measured the length of the upper emblem of Sambi in her family. She drew this bar chart to show her results. Use a grab to answer the questions. A. Who had the longest upper and bow? Meshak. B. How long is the shortest upper and bow? 14 cm. C. Next rings two brothers are Akman and Ali. Which brother is the oldest? Explain your answer. Ali is the oldest. His upper and bone is longer than Akman's. Our bones get longer as we get older. D. Put Nasrin and her brothers in each order. Explain your answer. Ali, Nasrin, Akman. Because Ali has longer upper and bone, and Akman has shortest upper and bone. E. Who are Nasrin's parents? Majhak and Fatima. F. Explain how you know this. They have the longest apart and bones. G. Which function of the skeleton does the grub show? Skeletons help us grow. H. Nasrin has a baby sister, Mira. Predict the length of Mira's upper and bone. Draw a new bar on the grub to show your prediction. 
So we should add a bar that is shorter or lower than the bar for ACMAS and bone length. For example, maybe 8 cm or 6 cm or 7 cm. So please can you try by yourself to draw the bar and you can comment in the comment box so I can check for you is it correct or not.